Assalamualaikum dan salam sejahtera. Uh, this lecture is a continuation from our previous lecture. So basically in chapter 2, we have discussed about uh, internal combustion engine. And then uh, at the end of our previous class, uh, we have covered up to uh, auto cycle for spark ignition engine. Okay. So basically, uh, today I will show you how to uh, do the analysis for uh, auto cycle spark ignition engine. Okay. So uh, first, let's uh, recall uh, what we have learned uh, in our previous lecture uh, in last week. Okay. So uh, first, in uh, in order to do the analysis, uh, we need to have what we call P v diagram and also ts diagram okay so uh, these two diagram will help you uh, to ease your analysis okay by referring to this uh, two diagram okay so now uh, let's say for auto cycle uh, spark initiation engine okay so it is for uh, four stroke four stroke uh, spark ignition engine okay and then for the analysis uh, instead of using uh, an actual cycle we um, uh, convert the actual cycle to an ideal ideal cycle okay so uh, for ideal cycle the first stroke uh, first stroke it is referred to uh, compression compression stroke and then the second stroke it is referred to uh, power or combustion uh, uh, or heat addition heat addition at a constant volume and then the third stroke stroke is uh, expansion okay okay so compression uh, from v max to v min and then ex expansion from uh, v min to v v max v maximum and then the last stroke it is for uh, heat rejection okay exhaust heat rejection at constant at constant volume okay so uh, if we want to define in terms of numbering okay the, to ease your your sketch for the pv diagram and ts diagram uh, so this is referred to stage uh, one to two this one is two to three and then this is three to four and then it is four to two one okay and then for ideal cycle all the cycle are reversible okay mean that from the beginning and then it will return in the uh, or in the uh, in the cycle in the closed uh, loop cycle okay so to draw the pv diagram first we draw the pv diagram Okay, so P is pressure, V is volume. Okay, so now based on PV, based on this stroke, the first one is compression, V from maximum to minimum. Okay, so we can sketch that. This is V point one, and then this is referred to uh, V one or V maximum. Okay, and then it is compressed. Compressed means that from maximum volume uh, volume to a minimum minimum volume okay so this is point point two okay and then this is referred to v2 or v minimum okay and then uh, one to two and plus the next stroke is two number uh, the second stroke is point two to point three it is referred to heat addition at constant volume okay 
so mean that constant volume v2 does not change okay in volume so v2 so v2 equal to v v3 so this is point point three where we can we know that v2 equal to v minimum also equal to v3 okay and then at this stage we call it as a heat addition or q q in at constant constant volume okay then uh, three to four it is expansion expansion from minimum volume okay from minimum volume to maximum volume okay so we move to point three to point point four okay so this is point four where we call it as expansion okay so this is isentropic expansion okay and then the first stroke it is referred to isentropic uh, compression okay and then last stroke 4 to 1 point 4 to point 1 heat rejection at constant volume and then mean that volume 4 equal to volume volume 1 okay so heat rejection so v1 equal to v max also equal to v v4 okay and then we know that at this it is referred to q out our q rejection at constant constant volume okay and then uh, we can translate the pv diagram into ts diagram okay so ts diagram so now you want to translate pv diagram to ts diagram t is temperature s is entropy okay so point 1 to point 2 it is compression and then we call this stage 1 to stage 2 is isentropic compression isentropic mean that the 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 entropy s is constant okay so point 1 this is point 1 and then this is s1 it is uh, isentropic compression okay compress mean that the temperature uh, will getting higher okay so it is a straight line to point point two okay because s1 equal to s2 as entropic uh, compression okay and then one to two two to three is heat addition okay heat addition at constant volume heat addition what happened to the temperature okay temperature must be getting higher okay temperature must be getting hot okay so mean that in heat addition t3 must be higher than t t2 okay so this is t t3 Okay, so T3, uh, 2 to 3 is heat addition at constant volume. And then 3 to 4 expansion. Expansion means that the temperature getting lower. Okay, expansion, uh, the volume from maximum to the minimum volume. And then it is isentropic. Isentropic means that S3 equal to equal to s s4 okay so you can draw a straight line so this is point point four okay and then the last stroke the last process the last cycle is four to one heat re rejection at constant volume okay heat rejection four to one the temperature will be getting lower Okay, so 4 to, to 1. Then, 
where is uh, centropic uh, sorry where is heat addition so the heat addition process is here 2 to 3 it is q in and then this is q q out okay and then uh, area under curve okay area under curve represent the word net okay word net or uh, output works uh, produced by this by this cycle okay so this is how to draw how to translate from uh, ideal auto cycle uh, from a stroke to the pv diagram and also ts ts diagram okay so uh, for this chapter of course you need to identify first you need to identify thermal efficiency okay so thermal efficiency for auto cycle it is refer to uh, w net okay small w refer reflect to uh, kilojoule per kilogram while uh, capital w it is referred to kilojoule okay word net over q q in small q it is referred to also refer to kilojoule per kilo kilogram okay uh, by referring to this picture, this PV diagram and TS diagram, we know that Q in, okay, Q in is a process of uh, heat addition at constant volume, okay. And then uh, for this ideal gas, uh, uh, ideal gas assumption, we assume that the specific heat is constant, okay. It is constant specific heat. Now Q in here. Okay, Q in uh, for the PV diagram, it is at constant volume. So we can identify the QN, Q in equal to CV, which temperature? T3, high temperature, minus V, low temperature. Okay, so Q in equal to CV, T3 minus T, T2. Okay, and then Q out. QR also uh, referred uh, also uh, heat rejection at constant volume. Okay, so you can draw CV equal to uh, from which temperature? Temperature 4 to temperature 1. Okay, so T4 equal to T, T1. Okay, so now what net is area under curve? Also, also equal to uh, Q in minus Q up divided by Q, Q in, okay, or 1 minus Q out over Q, Q in, and then or equal to T3 minus T2, T4 minus T, T1, okay, so Q out, oh, sorry, uh, Q out, Q out is T4 minus T1, Q in is T3 minus T, T2. Okay, so by rearranging, rearrange this uh, temperature, we can come out with a very simple uh, uh, equation for thermal efficiency for the auto cycle in terms of defining this efficiency. Uh, in terms of uh, compression ratio okay so uh, one minus okay rearrange based on isentropic uh, uh, equation we can get one over uh, one r k minus one k is ratio of specific heat and then for our case k is always equal to 1.4 okay so k basically equal to a constant specific heat ratio which, which is cp over c cv okay so uh, this is uh, for uh, how to find the thermal efficiency uh, based on the cp and cv diagram sorry uh, based on pv and ts diagram and then to find the Q in, Q out, and thermal efficiency based on 
R which is compression ratio. Okay, so I, I, I believe you are still. So now we we can identify or we can evaluate or calculate the thermal efficiency uh, based on uh, compression ratio. Okay, based on compression uh, ratio. Okay, one minus one over R K minus minus one. Okay, and then uh, uh, first before we pro uh, proceed to the example uh, let's recall uh, the equation of state that i, I, I mentioned uh, that I, uh, that we covered we have covered last last week okay uh, first for the equation of state equation of state we know that uh, pv equal to mr mrt Okay, P is pressure, volume, mass, uh, R is gas constant, R equal to 0 0.287 kilojoule per uh, kilogram Kelvin. Okay, so this is gas constant. Uh, or if we want to define in terms of uh, uh, specific volume, okay, uh, V over M, V over M, it is P small v, R, R T. Okay. So, uh, what I want to uh, show here is how to how to use this equation uh, to represent all the process in auto auto cycle. Okay. So let's say P1 and P2 is uh, P, uh, from point one to point two is isentropic compression. Okay. So for the isentropic, you can do uh, for the uh, for you can do the analysis based on the isentropic equation, or you can also use this equation equation of equation of state. Okay, for example, uh, for example, process uh, stroke one or cycle one to two is isentropic isentropic compression. Okay, so you can use. Uh, from we rearrange the equation of state it is equal to p1 v1 over t1 equal to p2 v2 t t2 okay so in the equation of state okay for uh, for isentropic compression or alternatively we can use uh, isentropic equation since it is isentropic process, so we can use isentropic equation. Okay, so for the isentropic equation, uh, T2 over T1 equal to V1 over V2 power of K minus minus one okay so power of k minus one for uh, temperature uh, volume equation for isentropic uh, process okay we want over v2 is basically your compression compression ratio or if you want to determine based on pressure it is also equal to uh, p2 over p1 compression ratio v1 over v2 power of k Okay, power of K. So if it is pressure uh, volume relation, the power is K. If temperature volume uh, relation, power of is the power of K minus one. Okay, and then same goes for uh, isentropic expansion for process number three and number number four. Okay, so you can use uh, isentropic equation. For example, uh, T three over uh, T4 equal to uh, V4 over V3 K minus 1 or in terms of pressure P3 over P4 equal to uh, V4 over V3 power of power of K. Okay, so K is equal to 1, 1.4 and then V4 over V3, basically the compression ratio. Okay, so this one. Okay. 
you can uh, sorry we three our uh, It is also equal to um, uh, volume compression, uh, sorry, compression uh, ratio. Okay, so for that particular stage, okay, one, two, and three, uh, three, four. Okay, so uh, this is how to determine the uh, eccentric compression and eccentric equation. Uh, sorry, eccentric expansion based on eccentric uh, equation. Okay. So, uh, so now uh, we try to solve one problem related to this uh, auto cycle for spark ignition engine. Okay, so now uh, let's. This is for June twenty fourteen. Okay, June twenty. 14. Question 2A. Explain briefly the difference between the clearance volume and the displacement volume of reciprocating engines and number two, spark ignition and compression ignition engine. Okay, so uh, this was already explained uh, in our previous lecture. So I think you can answer this what is clearance volume, which is a minimum volume, and then displacement volume is the maximum volume spark ignition uh, use the spark plug in order to, to ignite the power or the the fire okay the, to ignite the combustion process and then compression ignition engine uh, the no spark plug but the it is compressed the the air fuel mixture uh, over the temperature limit or pressure limit for that for that mixture okay so there is the answer for a1 and uh, a a2 okay now uh, number uh, question number two B. An ideal auto cycle has a compression ratio of six. Okay, and then uh, at the beginning of the compression process, air is at hundred kilopascal and seventeen degree Celsius, and ninety hundred kilojoule per kilogram of heat is transferred to air during the constant volume heat addition process. Okay. Using constant specific heat for air at 300 Kelvin, determine one thermal efficiency. Okay, so thermal efficiency, what is thermal efficiency? This is the thermal efficiency for auto cycle. Maximum temperature and pressure, maximum temperature and maximum pressure. And then work done, W net. And then the last one is mean effective pressure. Okay, mean effective pressure is uh, MEP. Okay, so now uh, how to solve for this uh, how to solve this uh, problem okay so given first of course you must list all the given uh, parameter okay given variable uh, idea auto cycle so it is an ideal auto cycle okay ideal auto cycle and then uh, compression ratio. What is compression ratio in uh, gas uh, in auto cycle? It is defined in terms of R, which is V1 over V2 equal to 6. Okay, and then at the beginning of the compression process, the beginning of the compression process, how to to to, to find the number of uh, beginning uh, the number for the beginning of the compression process? Okay, if you uh, quite difficult to remember the PV and TS diagram. You must you must sketch first the PV and TS diagram. Okay, so let's say you sketch PV diagram. PV diagram. You know that uh, V maximum to minimum, and then red line for heat addition, and then expansion, and then heat rejection. So one, two. 3, 4, or in TS diagram, TS diagram, 1 to 2 is isentropic compression, so 1 to 2 is a straight line, 1, 
2 and then 2 to 3 is heat addition at constant volume temperature higher than temperature 2 and then this is 4 and then reversible back to point, point 0.1 okay so uh, for pv diagram uh, this is q in And then this is Q, Q out. Okay, two, three is Q in, and then this is Q, Q out. Okay, so uh, at the beginning of compression process. So where is the beginning of compression process? So this is the beginning of compression process, which is uh, P1 is 100 kilo pascal and then t1 is 17 degree c or 273 plus 17 it is equal to 290 kelvin okay and then uh, 900 kilojoule per kilogram of heat is transferred to air during the constant volume heat addition process what is this okay so this is referred to q in equal to because it is uh, heat addition process which is q q in q in equal to uh, 900 kilojoule per kilo kilogram okay using constant specific heat so uh, cp and cv you need to determine the thermal efficiency okay so this is thermal efficiency for auto cycle the maximum temperature okay maximum temperature and maximum pressure in the cycle Okay, so where is the maximum temperature? So, so refer to TS diagram. Maximum temperature is at T, T3. Okay, so find T3 and then maximum pressure also at T, T3. Okay, and then work done, which is work net. Okay, work net for this um, cycle. And then the mean effective pressure kilopascal for the for this cycle. Okay, and then Assuming air is an ideal gas with, with constant specific heat, CV equal to 0 0.718 kJ per kilogram Kelvin, and then K equal to 1.1.4. Okay, so now how to find how to uh, solve for this uh, problem? Okay, so Okay, so uh, now we want to find the solution. Okay, so first thermal efficiency. We know that number one, thermal efficiency for auto cycle equal to a uh, wood net over Q, Q in. Okay, so refer to, uh, to the given the, uh, data. Q in is given, but we don't have word net. Word net must be calculated. Okay, but to calculate word net, you need to have Q out, and then you need you need to have all the temperature. Okay, and then now alternatively, we know that uh, in order to find the thermal efficiency, we can alternatively use uh, compression ratio. Okay, compression ratio to find the thermal efficiency. Okay, so refer. To our previous to the uh, uh, lecture just now, okay, revision just now to find the thermal efficiency, it is also equal to one over one, sorry, one minus one over r uh, r k minus minus one. Okay, so straight away you can find one minus 1 over r is compression ratio given 6 6 k is the ratio of specific constant which is 1.4 minus 1 okay so you can get the answer is Okay, so the answer is 0 
0.16 or in terms of percentage 51.16 percent okay so solve for uh, question number number one okay so now proceed to maximum uh, question number two uh, asking you to find maximum temperature okay maximum temperature t3 and t p3 okay so t3 t3 and t p3 okay so now we know that q in okay q in because the q in is given q in is given in your uh, question okay so q in just recall q in equal to uh, heat addition process at constant volume okay cv it is t3 plus t t2 okay so but now the problem is we we don't have temperature at state number number two the only given temperature is state number number one okay so now to determine the temperature at state number two we can use equation uh, sorry process from one to to two which is isentropic compression okay so for the isentropic compression you can use equation of state of this equation p1 v1 equal to uh, over t1 or equal to p2 v2 over t t2 okay but now the problem is we don't have pressure at two pressure at two is not given so we cannot use this equation so now we can use isentropic equation so for the isentropic equation we know that uh, for the isentropic equation t2 Okay, isentropic, isentropic equation for compression. We know that uh, T2 over T1 equal to V1 over V2 power of K minus minus 1. Okay, V1 minus, sorry, V1 over V2 uh, power of K minus minus 1. Okay, so now T1 is known already given 290 kelvin v1 over v2 basically uh, compression ratio okay so you can determine t2 equal to uh, t1 290 uh, kelvin uh, sorry 290 kelvin multiply with v1 over v2 is 6 and then k minus 1 1.4 minus 1 okay so you can obtain the temperature at state number 2 290 multiply with uh, 6 power of 0 0.4 okay so the answer is 593.83 kelvin okay so this is temperature at state number number two so you can validate is the uh, the, the, the answer is the temperature is uh, uh, correct or wrong Okay, so T2 must be higher than T, T1. Okay, so from TS diagram, we know that T2 must higher than T, T1. Okay, so now you've got T2 is 593.83 uh, Kelvin, okay, which is higher than uh, temperature at state, state 1. Okay, so now you've got T2. We can determine uh, Q in based sorry we can determine t3 based on this equation okay based on this equation okay so now uh, q in equal to cv uh, t3 minus t2 and then uh, uh, t3 basically equal to uh, q in over cv plus t t2 okay so you will get Q in given Q in given is 900 kilojoule per kilogram Kelvin. So you must be always uh, aware of kilo, eh? kilo, the unit kilo. So now the unit is 900 kilo. So 900 kilo, 10 power of 3. So CV is 0. Point, CV is given in the question 0. 0.718. 0. 0.718 kilojoule per kilogram Kelvin. So kilo T2 is 593.83 Kelvin. Okay, so 
uh, it is 900 over 0.718. So the answer is 1487.31 Kelvin. Okay, so this is the answer for maximum temperature at step number uh, at num uh, uh, maximum temperature at uh, state number number three okay so now uh, you got the t3 you have to find pressure at three okay which is maximum also maximum pressure here okay so how to find the pressure at uh, pressure at state number uh, number three okay so you can find this pressure okay you can find this pressure based on uh, equation uh, sorry uh, 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 process of 2 to 3 okay because 2 to 3 is a uh, heat addition at constant volume okay so now let's say process uh, 2 to 3 is a uh, heat addition at constant volume okay so heat addition at constant volume and then uh, we know that we can use uh, p2 v2 over uh, t2 equal to p3 v3 over t p3 okay so now we want to determine p3 okay so rearrange we got uh, p3 equal to uh, p2 okay p2 uh, v2 over v3 and then t3 over t t2 okay so just rearrange t3 over v2 v2 and then v2 over v v3 and then hit this process is hit addition at constant volume okay mean that v2 here v2 equal to v v3 okay so this one will be equal to one okay so now p2 multiplied by one and then multiply with t3 over t2 okay so now we have the uh, we have the uh, t3 and then we also have t2 but we don't have pressure at state two okay pressure at state two is not given so now you have to find pressure at state number pressure at state number two so to find the pressure at state number two just uh, refer to this equation okay so one to two is isentropic compression you can use this equation basically because we already know t t2 so p2 equal to p2 equal to uh, p1 uh, v1 over v2 okay so v1 over v2 v1 and then uh, t2 over t t1 okay so you can use this equation t1 is uh, what is p1 p1 is 100 kilopascal so p1 is uh, 100 kilopascal and rupa 10 power of 3 for kilopascal v1 over v2 is compression ratio or r which is 6 and then t2 minus over t1 is 593.83 divided by t1 t1 is 290 okay so you will get t2 equal to 100 power of 6 593.83 over 290. So the answer is 1. So the answer is for the P, uh, for the P2, pressure at point 2 is 1.228 uh, mega pascal, mega times 10 power of 6 pascal. Okay, and then uh, as I said, you can also use uh, this equation for isentropic compression or 
you want to use the isentropic equation. Okay, you will get the same answer. Okay, so let's say you want to to use isentropic this one, eh? isentropic equation for uh, for for this um, uh, for pressures uh, isentropic equation at uh, point two. Okay, so you can use uh, P two over P1 equal to V1 over V2 K. Okay, so P2 basically equal to P1 with, which is 100 kilopascal and then V1 over V2 6 multiplied by K is 1 over 1 over 4. Okay, so you can calculate this. Uh, 100 power of 3 multiplied by 6 power of 1.4 okay so you will get exactly the same answer which is 1.229 1 uh, mega pascal okay you will get same answer if you use equation of state for 1 to 2 or you want to use isentropic equation okay so now we got P2. So P to find P3, it is equal to P2 1.229 megapascal. V2 over V3 1 because uh, constant volume. T3 over T2 is T3 is T3 where is T3? 1847 over T2, T2, where is T2? 593.883. Okay, you will get um, 1.229 multiplied by 0.8473.583. So you will get Pressure at state 3 or P3 equal to uh, 3.823 Pascal or Mega Pascal 3.823 Mega Pascal. Okay, so there is question number. Uh, quest, uh, answer for maximum pressure in kilo pascal. Okay, and then number three, you are required to calculate word net. Okay, word net. Word done for this process for this cycle. Okay, so number three to calculate word net. Okay, so there are multiple way to calculate word net. Eh? So since uh, we know that. For example, the very simple equation, uh, thermal efficiency equal to work net over Q, Q in. Okay, so now uh, Q in is given 900 kilojoule per kilogram and then thermal efficiency is already determined 0.5116. So straight away you can get work net equal to Okay, 0 0.5116 multiplied by Q in is equal to 900. So 900 kilojoule per kilo kilogram. Okay, so uh, 0.5116. So we work for 60. 460.44 kilojoule per kilo kilogram. Okay, so this is word net. Or you, if you want to find a word net based on uh, Q in minus Q out, Q out. So you you have uh, to find Q in minus Q out over Q Q in. 
Okay, so QR equal to constant volume heat rejection. Okay, constant volume heat rejection T4, T1. CV equal to uh, CV T4 minus T, T1. Okay, so now uh, uh, you can try to find T4. Okay, T4 temperature 4 based on uh, isentropic expansion T3 to T, T4. And then uh, straight away you, could, you will get the same answer. 460.44 kJ per kilogram. Okay, and then uh, number four, the last equation is to find mean effective pressure. Okay, so mean effective pressure uh, basically equal to uh, wood net over V1 minus V, V2. Okay, V is specific volume, small v is specific volume uh, at maximum and minimum. Okay, or we can rearrange because we don't have uh, a parameter or we don't have a specific value for uh, volume uh, at state 2 and volume at state 1, volume for the maximum or volume for the minimum. But we have compression ratio which is V1 over V2 that also equal to specific volume and then specific volume uh, at state state 2. Okay, so now rearrange this equation we get W net equal to uh, over V1 minus which is V2 equal to V1 over V1 over R. Okay, so we get V1 over R. V1, V2 is equal to V1 over over R. So this is also equal to what net uh, V1 1 minus 1 over over R. Okay, so now we got we already know R, but we don't have any uh, value for specific volume at state one. But easily it can be easily calculated based on equation of state. Okay, P one V one equal to M R T T one. Okay, so to get specific volume V one over M. Sini kita turunkan M ke sini. So kita akan dapat, we will get specific volume 1 equal to R T1. Okay, so V1 equal to R T1 over T T1. Okay, R is gas constant as I mentioned before. Gas constant equal to 0 0.287 kilogram per, sorry, kilojoule per, per kilogram Kelvin. Okay, so kilojoule may mean that 10 power of 3 multiply with T1 is 290 Kelvin and then over uh, pressure M1 is 100 kilopascal. So you will get 0.287 multiply by 290 over 100. So it is 0. 0.8323 meter cube per kilo kilogram. So this is specific specific volume meter cube per per kilogram. Okay, so we we already have V1 small v our uh, specific volume as state one. So easily we can calculate mean effective pressure equal to word net, word net, what is word net? For uh, 460.44 kilojoule. V1 is above V1 0.8323 minus 1 over R. R is compression ratio, ratio which is 6. So you get. So you will get the pressure, mean effective pressure equal to 663.86 six 
kilo pascal. Okay, so uh, one pascal. Okay, one pascal. The unit, eh, unit conversion. One pascal basically equal to one joule per liter liter cube. Okay, so that's why we got uh, joule kilo joule per meter cube is equal to kilo kilo pascal. Okay, so this is how to solve problem for auto cycle uh, auto cycle spark emission engine. Okay, so thank you very much and bye bye.